Okay, we're out here at uh, Gold Basin, and we're going to do a little test today on the uh, Fisher Goldbug 2 versus the uh, Garrett ATX, which is a new machine. It's a pulse induction uh, detector that uh, just came out. So new technology, and Goldbug's been around for at least 15 years, I think. It's a great detector. I found around 130 meteorites over that with that particular detector right there, and. Uh, so I'm just kind of out here in the middle of the strewn field, and I thought we'd do a check on uh, some meteorites primarily. And uh, we'll do some little nuggets, a couple of coins maybe. This ground is extremely hot. Okay, here's our targets. We've got a 92-gram chondrite from Franconia, a 27.5-gram chondrite from Gold Basin. It's one I found last week. 2-gram chondrite from uh, Franconia. A 0.6 gram chondrite from Franconia. It's a pretty small one. We've got a little iron here, 1.7 gram iron from Franconia, and a very tiny 0.1 gram Franconia iron. I've got a 0.3 gram little nugget and a uh, 0.1 gram really tiny, tiny little nugget right there. Let's see if he can give you some perspective there. And we're going to go ahead and bury these and see how they sound. Okay, there's the 92 gram chondrite. Buried in this little hole here. Looks like it's a little over six inches deep from the surface. We'll go ahead and cover it up. Okay, I've got a ground balance that's uh, just about eight almost. It's pretty hot ground out here. Okay, I'm picking it up with the uh, gold bug. Hear that little zip. Cool. Okay, here's the Garrett ATX. I'm not really hearing it. See it's pretty well ground balance there. Pretty hot ground. So a little gold bug picks it up where the ATX doesn't, at least at uh, a little over six inches deep. Okay, we'll raise it up a little bit. Okay, I dug it out and set it down four inches below the uh, surface. Now you can hear it. So the gold bug had about two inches more sensitivity on a 92 gram chondrite. And we'll try the gold bug again here. I turned the threshold up on this so you can hear it a little better. Okay, here's the gold bug again. Good, strong signal. Four inches, 92 gram chondrite. Okay, this is a 27 gram chondrite, gold basin, at about three inches. We'll bury it and try it out. Okay, I picked that up pretty good. Three inches, 27 gram gold basin meteorite. That would be just about the limit though. If it was down another inch, don't think I'd pick it up. So now we'll try out the gold bug. Yeah, the gold bug picks that up easy. Looks like a couple inches to spare there. Nice zip. Good. Okay, we'll try a smaller one. This is the two gram Franconia Yeah, it's just about two inches. Just barely. Two gram Franconia at two inches. Okay, here's a gold bug. Pretty easy. Got another, looks like another couple inches. Good strong zip. Great. Okay, here's the 0.6 gram chondrite, Franconia, right on the surface. And I'm not hearing it. I found this with the gold bug too, so we'll try that. Obviously, I'll hear it. 
a 0 0.6 gram Franconia chondrite. Easy. Probably go down a couple inches. Still hear it. Cool. Okay, we'll try the uh, 1.7 gram iron Franconia. Drop it down in here. About six inches. Yeah, definitely hear it. I'm sure I dig that. That's just right at the limit. Six inches, 1.7 gram iron meteorite. Okay, here's the gold bug on the Franconia 1.7 gram. I'd say it's about the same. If I go up here, I'm not really hearing it. Okay, about six inches on both of them. Okay, here's the uh, 0 0.1 gram Franconia iron. About two inches. Kind of a double blip that uh, these things are famous for. Okay, it's pretty impressive. 0 0.1 gram, tiny little iron. Now let's try the uh, ATX. Okay, it looks like the ATX is picking that up too. 0 0.1 gram, no problem. That's pretty good on the irons. I kind of figure that because I've seen what the mine lab can do on these irons at Franconia. Alright, very cool. Okay, we've got a uh, 0 0.3 gram gold nugget. Drop it down on the hole. Right at about 5 inches. Just barely. It's really weak. Probably would not dig that. Okay, we'll try the ATX. Okay, here's the ATX, 0 0.3 gram gold nugget. Not really picking that up either. Okay, I raised the uh, nugget up an inch. It's now at four inches. Just barely hear it. Okay, here's a gold bug, 0 0.3 gram gold nugget. Pretty weak. I'd say similar sensitivity to the ATX. Okay, we'll raise it up a little higher. Okay, 0 0.3 gram gold nugget. Nice signal now, nice strong signal. It's at three inches. I definitely dig that. Now we'll try the ATX. Okay, nice signal on the ATX on the 0 0.3 gram nugget at three inches. Okay, now we got the 0 0.1 gram gold nugget. And I'm just going to put this on the surface. Obviously, it's not going to go very deep on something like that. So. And I found this with the gold bug. 
but I was using the uh, six inch coil. I'm not sure if this will pick it up or not. Oh yeah. Wow, nice signal. 0 0.1 gram gold nugget with a gold bug. Nice zip. 0 0.1 gram gold nugget. Not really picking that up. Of course, the sensitivity is on 12. And uh, threshold's turned up so you can hear it. Okay, nothing. Let's. Okay, we'll put a nickel down there. Nickel is it's about 10 inches down, nine and a half, 10 inches down. Not really, just too deep. The uh, ATX on the nickel at nine and a half, ten inches deep. So you can see this is where the ATX really excels is on uh, larger targets like gold at greater depth. Clearly I could go a lot deeper with that nickel, probably another three or four inches, still pick it up. Probably 13, 14 inches, I'm three or four inches above the ground right now. So that would be the main reason, if I was a meteorite hunter, I'd probably stick with the gold bug. But if you're looking for gold, something deeper, and especially in heavy mineralized ground, the ATX is pretty good for that too. And quieting everything down so you can find the meteorites. Alright. Okay, we'll raise the uh, dime up a little bit just to show how deep the fissure can go. I just did an air test on this and about eight inches. That's about it right there. Eight inches on a nickel with the Fisher Gold Bug too. It's pretty good. Now the ATX, one more time, on the nickel at eight inches. It would probably be pretty good in parks if somebody was looking for coins, old coins or relics or something. You could sure reach them down deep. Or at the beach jewelry, that kind of stuff. Great. Okay, so conclusion from all this is that on uh, smaller gold, like 0.1 gram or less, obviously the gold bug is just a killer machine. On meteorites, probably just about in all sizes, it seems like the, uh, the gold bug is the way to go. On small nuggets, like 0.3 grams, anything larger than that, they're both pretty good until you start getting into the larger stuff and at depth and then clearly the ATX is going to be in the machine for that. The other thing to consider is that uh, hotness of the ground on hot soils the ATX is just going to be whisper quiet. You almost never get a false signal and on the Fisher uh, it's a great machine you have to learn what it sounds like when you actually get a good target like a meteorite or a nugget and uh, it works great but you will get a lot of hot rocks with the uh, with the gold bug. All right, that's it.